The most secure way to attach wires to LED strips is to solder them on. Sure, you can use clips, but a good solder job beats clips any day. So how do you solder? First, let's talk about the solder itself. Two kinds of solder are commonly used for electronics work, and let's face it, LEDs are electronics. There's lead-based solder and lead-free solder. Most factory-produced products use lead-free solder, but lead solder is also readily available, so you might have either type. Lead-free solder has a higher melting point than lead solder, so you'll need a bit hotter soldering iron to work with it. We'll show you how to use both kinds. Here we have a Weller temperature-adjustable soldering iron, but you can work with a more basic type too. For lead-based solder, a 35 watt iron is okay, and for lead-free, you'll need at least 45 watts. But don't use one of these 100 or 200 watt soldering guns. It's too much heat and you can easily damage the strip and LEDs. Actually, any soldering iron can damage components if you hold it on too long, even a 35 watt one. So you want to work efficiently. With our Weller, we set it to 450 or 500 degrees Fahrenheit, about 250 degrees Celsius for lead-based solder. First melt a tiny bit of solder onto the tip of the iron. Touch the iron to the contact. The bit of melted solder helps spread the heat. Don't try to paint solder onto the contact though, it won't stick properly. Just touch the solder to the contact, then slide it over to touch the iron. The solder melts and spreads to the heated contact. Remove it and let it harden. It should get shiny. That's called tinning the contact. We'll tin the wire now, too. Twist the strands together and apply some solder to the wire. Don't strip it back too far, you don't want too much bare wire exposed, because if the wires get twisted, they could short together. Now remelt the solder on the contact and put the tinned wire into the melted solder. You might want to hold it down with a small screwdriver before releasing the iron, so the wire can't spring back while the solder is hardening. It only takes a second or so, but you need to keep the wire still during that time. It takes some practice. For lead-free solder, we do exactly the same thing, but set the iron to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, or around 315 degrees Celsius, as it has a higher melting point. Again, apply a bit to the tip of the iron and tin the contact of the LED strip. Also tin the wire. Remelt the contact, putting the wire into the melted solder and let it fuse. For best results, it's a good idea to also use some heat shrink tubing over the joint to give it a little protection and strain relief. Cut a little piece and slide it over, then shrink it with the heat of the iron, or with a heat gun like a powerful hair dryer or even a small paint stripper. If your LED strip is long or your wire has a molded barrel connector, put the heat shrink tubing on first before soldering and just slide it into place when it's time to shrink it. And that's how to solder.